my name is Patrick Spate, 31 years old, training out of San Diego, California. I have nine years of wrestling experience, eight years of Brazilian Jiu Jitsu, four years of boxing, two years of Muay Thai, and about four years of professional mixed martial arts. You know, after 82nd Airborne, a little bit of Airborne Infantry, building some character, as my grandpa would say, I got out and, uh, you know, there was a hole in my life. There was something missing. Pull! Unless you're going to go to the Olympics, there's no real uh, wrestling club you can go hang out and stuff. And I happen to be working with a guy with a Brazilian girlfriend, and he tells me, well, why don't you go try this Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu? You've seen this Hoist Gracie guy in the UFC, right? Okay, I'll go try it out. Well, I thought I was pretty badass at the time. I'm about 210 pounds, just got out of the army. You know, I got nine years of wrestling and I walk in and uh, the owner of the school says, oh yeah, you're pretty tough, you're a wrestler? Well, here's a 145 pound purple belt. Who proceeded to tap me out about 40 times in the next hour and uh, from then on, I was there literally eight practices a week. I would go five days, two times a day and then the other two days there was only one class offered. So I was doing eight practices a week for about a year and a half and uh, you know, that, that's really where it sparked and, and, and it's just kept rolling since. I've had a few injuries in between, but everything's taken care of and it's no problem now. You know, such has happened and here I am. Okay, let's see now, I gotta refight through that whole sequence again. That's crap, we don't wanna do that. You keep doing this right here. I don't wanna want this right here. There, yeah. Hand in front, excellent job again. It's funny that it would be the fighting that makes me do this, but originally before, uh, in the middle of all this fight training I've had, I was, I was going to school, um, I got my two-year degree, and I was going to be a history teacher. I really enjoy teaching people. Oh, so we always want to breathe, breathe in and relax. Some people have an affinity for doing certain things. I happen to have an affinity and a talent for A, beating people up in a professional environment, I don't street fight, and B, teaching people. I have a, a very good communicator when it comes to being able to explain to somebody. There's nothing more than I enjoy and having somebody come in that thinks there's no way that they could do uh, an arm bar or a triangle choke or something that looks totally crazy. And you explain it to them two or three times and they're still not getting it. Well, you have to figure out a fourth, a fifth, a sixth way to explain it to them until it, you put it in their terms that they understand. Once you do that, guess what? You just, for me, that's the real prize, is being able to show somebody that and teach them that. You know, WCO's a, a relatively new organization, but anytime you're chosen by an organization to to be a number one contender and fight for a belt, uh, it's an honor. And especially when you get to go in there and you get to do it in front of all your students, you get to do it in front of all your friends, your family, and you know, get a guy who's 4-0 with four knockouts and to really make him look bad because you train so hard and make it look easy. People afterwards are wondering what the heck happened. Uh, you know, it means a lot to you. Dang, Dave. Keeping it real. Unleashing the skills. If you want to be the top of the professional heap when it comes to mixed martial arts, that's what the UFC is. So uh, I'm not in this to be a rock star. I'm not in it to, to have local celebrity, you know, that's that stuff, product that comes with it. I'm in it to test myself against the best fighters in the world. And I got news for you where are the best fighters in the world, they're in the UFC. And especially at my weight classes, you know, where, where I'm around, I would say that's the most talent in the world. And for somebody that's been training for, I got about, what, eight, eight years of jiu-jitsu and mixed martial arts and nine years of wrestling before that, uh, you know, I've tested myself against a lot of the, some of the best guys in the world, and it's, it's nice to see what level you're at. And, you know, to, to actually know, you're going to have to fight in the UFC. That's all there is to it. To actually know that you're the champion. I, you know, I hold belts in smaller shows and, and I can win jiu-jitsu tournaments and I can do stuff like that. But to know you're the best mixed martial artist in the world, you have to win in the UFC. That's all there is to it. There is one to escape. Nice. No, no. Hold! You can always cut it in, right? Yeah, yeah, no, we'll, we'll pick that up. <laughs> I'm just so excited! <laughs>